this is what we're dealing with today look at the ice you know look at under the headlights just cake all right back in barn field again Head note, Matawal. Head note, going to Matawal, going to do the full tour. So this video is not going to probably be great because the freaking snow is sticking like crazy to the runs. So I have to keep cleaning up. Keep giving you a wipe down. But the conditions here in Ottawa are dynamite. Really tight single track here. It's pretty cool. Three pines. You can see the snow depth here. It's incredible. There's places where it's up to Drew's shoulders. It feels like Star Wars going to blow up the Death Star. I thought we were when we were coming home. That, that, the first ride, we seen Trail 666, and that was the lookout trail. Keep an eye out for the devil if you see him. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is called Devil's Canyon. It's pretty steep. This unique ge geomorphological feature was carved by the waters of the receding glaciers approximately 10,000 years ago. The earliest known inhabitants of the area used this as a vision quest location and the spirits were known to be strong here. It's known to be one of the homes of Wendigo, a half-beast creature appearing in the legends of the Algonquin speaking peoples of this area. Ooh, let's go check it out. How did you go up the, up this way? Okay. Stay on trailer, stay home. Ooh, it is neat. Oh, that's a better perspective of what this is about. Look at that. Pretty cool. It's quite a neat little area. Okay, so that was number six. The devil went down to Matawal. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a barn way behind when to make a deal. When he saw this young snowmobile riding hot, he said, look out son, I've got a sidewinder. Let me show you what you got. The devil went off trail and he stuck that bitch with a beauty. The little boy on his 600 e tech showed him how it's done. <laughs> he said, look at son, I've got an 850 Studio on spring order. It's an X package MXZ with a 129. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys can think of the rhyme, just put it in the comments below. That didn't take long. I didn't even stop recording from the last one. This is... Can't believe how deep the snow is. Can't even just see his helmet going around that corner. Oh yeah. Yeah.
It actually looks better than I uh, thought it was going to look. It's called the Grand Desert. There's a good deal of sand in this area for, and for a good reason. The, the people in the picture had a freaking bluebird day. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty, you gotta appreciate the power of the glaciers when you're looking over this. Are you stuck? Back country with the, with the 120. You got the right idea there though. I can't go here because obviously I'm in the Oh my God, it's deep. Trees are for traction, they said. <laughs> oh, what a meathead. We gotta get it pointing this way, Drew. There, there, they're back in. Front end's fine. I don't even know. I was turning. too much work okay I gotta catch my breath we'll see you guys closer to the next look at we just stopped to check uh, directions here make sure we're going the right way are we working now oh that sucks oh look at this trail wow Uh, take note, we have not seen any other snowmobile yet today. This is March break. Shame on you dads with snowmobiles. Get your kids out and ride. Especially on one of the last nice days of the year. Oh! There we go. Oh. He, he, he gave me one signal, the first guy did. Oh my goodness, look at this trail. It's like a highway. talk about the top of the park when they do the rock tour and how it's your favorite part of that tour. And this is it. This is what they're talking about. It's fast, it's flowy, it's well groomed. It, uh, it's really scenic. And that's the, uh, that's why it's a favorite among everybody. Fairly safely, actually. Nice and wide. Well, number eight wasn't is not accessible because of the trails closed. So this is the Amitable Deformed River. 
The river is named after Chief Amitable Defond, who gave his name into the river as a significant watershed boundary between the native clans. Cool. Yeah, well, you do always get, get photos here. Very tea colored river. We like bridges. Holy crap, be one little slip and you'd be having a bath. That's quite the falls down there. But you can hear me okay, right? On the calm? Okay. This is, I sound like the Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. Okay. 50k so far? And I can't see for 35 of them. <laughs> I'm back here, just hold on. That's funny, oh yeah. But hey. We're riding. We're having fun. Skadoods are having fun. You do the mapping, I'll do the guessing. Oh my God, it's, shitty. Oh. it's not shitty, it's freaking awesome. I don't want to run out of gas, but I have to the Buddy, we got 22 liters here. You're on a miser. You're on arguably the, you are on the best fuel efficient sled in the industry. Bar none. And just don't ride like an idiot the whole way and will last forever. You know what they say? It's better to have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. How many did we put in the other day at the pump? Remember when I, we were looking? 12 liters? 12 and 12. You were at well, just about a half a tank and you put 12 in. And I was at zero when I put 12 in and only said half a tank. Okay, so we should be good. We rarely use these in the e -tex. This is the first time I put one of our backpack cans in one of our own sleds. It's usually someone else we're bailing out. Trucker Paul or... All right, let's see what happens here. That's over half a tank. What's that? Look at my game. Oh yeah. Come on, that's over drop like... Well, that's the thing, you know, you know you've got lots of fuel now. If you can't make it to... Oh, what if you take? I don't know what the capacity is. Like, a, I wonder if these are just like 25 liter tanks or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm glad it's not cold out with your heater not working, because that wouldn't be fun. Oh. Are you service? We're good. Yeah, and I say I'm, I say I'm down one bar, but that's not right. It, I probably, probably down whatever, but you know what? We're riding. Yeah, exactly. Hey! 6,018 miles. That's how much I put on my sled. Time for a new one, folks. Yeah, I wish, uh, I, wish I could find the money tree out here. If you see the money tree stop and pull off. Skidoo. Save the skidoos. This one can't be saved. It's already fucked. Oh, crap. Something's telling it to shut down. Might be a temperature sensor issue or something. Imagine going 
going to see that deep stuff. Wow. Well, there's some sleds coming. Way ahead in the distance. Oh, God. I think I've worn through the plastic on my visor, wiping it off. It's not fogging, it's just sticking the snow. Couple of good old boys. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going beside a road, that's an issue. That one must be packed today. goodness. I thought this parking lot would be full. Nice renegade there though. Is that an XRS or is that just a renegade? Holy crap that's a high windshield. This is this is gorgeous. Little 600 XRS. Oh, he's got the Ruskies on. What? Ruski rollers. Are those for road riding? Yeah, they flip down and you drive down the road with them. He's got a Quebec Trail Pass on too. Bob's a guy like Yeah. He's got the, the Adventure Bumper too. Is that what that is? Yeah. So that is an XRS. Yeah. Is yeah. A yeah. yeah. Beautiful cool. sled though. That's brand new too. Yeah. actually put ours on. Can't use the sidewalks. Oh. So we well, used no, to go, no, because this, we did that. You can go across the river now, it's open. Yeah, we, you know, it's saying you can still cross that bridge to the to the statues right there. But we, I remember we went down, we went down, we went up this street here and uh and went through the downtown a little frost on the collar there is there nice <laughs> oh yeah it's a it's a messy one out there yeah it snows wet today yeah Hi. hey how are you good, you? good. there's just two of us okay perfect yeah Hi. We'll see ya. Bye bye. You straight that down too good. Too good. That's fine for some 
waiting for Mars. <laughs> I walked into the McEwen gas station. The guy goes, no cameras, no cameras. I told him I'm going to roll it when I'm leaving so he can watch it on the YouTube. And the old guy walking in behind me didn't know what to think. Well, they just put a line. You're not allowed to ride. It's going to be on the sidewalk. So they're pretty strict on you must go down here to get on the bridge that crosses the river. Which is the way we went last year. But in the spring we had it end up going downtown. Which is kind of cool. Be a, that's a church of some sort. It's pretty wild. Last year we parked right at them. This year there's no way you're going to get in there. Yep. Now that's a good view. Oh yeah. See for miles. Bird's eye view. What's it doing now? Good. That's a nice formula. <laughs> yeah, just, that's what he started on. Yeah. I had one. I had that. That was a '97. I had a '96. Yeah, his was a '90. My dad bought new, and I rode for. I don't know. 10 or 15 years probably <laughs> yeah and then uh, i just picked that one up this year yeah you can't kill them eh like they're just awesome what do you got a 700 here it's an eight 800 nice <laughs> team Vin where are you guys from uh, i'm from caledonia yeah right on but yeah that's in good shape too it's not bad yeah that's well, my next one hopefully it'll be a 600 e deck that's all you need man they go oh, forever. Good, yeah. Good economy. Yeah. They're good on gas. That one's probably pretty good too. E yeah, oh yeah, we're we're on par. Oh, yeah. yeah, like uh, it's a leader either way. Yeah, right. Like I yesterday I did better than him. Today we put 11 liters in, in his. I didn't touch mine, and we we're exactly 11 liters out. Wow. So we we're running the same. Some of the loops up here, I'm doing the math, and I figure I don't even know if I can make it. Yeah. From yeah. gas station to gas station, like, yeah. some of them are like 130K, right? It's yeah. Like, mm, it's getting yeah. close on this one. Not just where there's a gas station, but is it going to be open? Yeah, exactly. Close at 5, 4 yeah. on a Sunday. I know. Run into a couple times, right? Yeah. There's guys in Dorset yesterday, stranded two sleds, had to get back to Halliburton. They they missed the gas station by a half an hour close. Yeah. Anyway, good chatting with you guys. Have a good good ride. Yep, you too. Oh yeah. Couple 
little skidoos from our hometown. Love to see that. Back into the bumpy bump. The bumpy bump. Light rain or something in there right now. How are you dry the lens off? All right. Crap. So we made it to the mica mine. We ran into a great guy with fiberglass skis. And now we got this goofball thinking he's Dave Marona. <laughs> Can I just walk up to the door and peek in and then and then I can say we're at the mica mind? Jeez. Yeah, phone died. I don't know how far I got on that last rip, but it was great. We we're making some good running into the trails. There's kind of a smell when you come up to here. It's um it's bear pee. But this is the mica mind. It's pretty dark, even with our lights, uh, can't see anything, but we uh, we got some good video from the handheld. So I think what we're thinking is they blasted, see these holes where they stuck dynamite in, they blasted this crevice out. They must have been pulling Mike out of here at one point, but they made this great big crevice. I don't know how tall that would be, but a couple hundred feet tall. But yeah, pretty wild. But okay, let's roll. We gotta hurry up before that ZX's get here. I guess it's a ZX and an F. Chassis. Nice. Beautiful. So this is kind of what I'm looking at right now, my shield. It's, uh, it, gets, it gets like that pretty darn quick, especially at speed. And you can see here we're in a little bit of stutter bumps. Clean the guys up again. the camera down and wiping off my visor. My hands are pretty busy today. But hey, we're riding and we've been on horse. Awesome. Yeah, that's where that buddy was having a beer that time. Yeah. Yeah, he's waiting for his buddies and having a brewski. Okay, we are rolling. Light. Let there be drums. And there were drums. Let there be rock.
so my phone discharge back there and uh, wouldn't charge up so I stuck it in my jacket to warm it up and plugged it in and it's on now but it looks like it's only got about 2% charge so probably lose it again so I'll just let the Sony run until it dies and uh, we might get back but if we don't thanks for joining us tonight Thanks for joining us this season. And there's lots more videos to come, so stay tuned. But I am really impressed with the snow they got up here. Another lake. This is a short one though. But anyway, we're flying around the lake and trees like on the calm. What the hell is that? And I'm thinking, is it one of those sign markers in the air door? Is there a reflector on it? And we get closer and it's a freaking guy on an old 95 or 96 S chassis Skidoo, no headlight, coming at us, towing a ski wagon, like for ice fishing, full of kids. If we didn't get a hundred mile an hour, we would have fucking killed the whole family. But you can see reflectors, like, you can see them for miles. So, you know, if you're not going to have a headlight, at least have the kids hold a flashlight or something. Mommy, it's over! The trailer's still there. Old Bonfield, it's a tiny drinking village with a heavy snowmobile problem. If we were gonna blow them up, it would have been on that last lake run, that's for sure. I only see 93 mile an hour. Yeah, it's too thick of snow too. Oh, perfect, bud. Like a Strap it up, Jack. There she be. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Get, let's get the hell into Dodge so we can get the hell out of Dodge. I don't know what I did with the Dodge keys. I thought you just started I just freaking had them in my hand. You started the Dodge and I can't find the keys. Oh my god. Yeah.